brief this month comes from the wonderful brand new Wrightington Hospital. And I'm spending the morning here looking at what goes on in the new theatres. I shall be interviewing Charlotte Davis, who's the theatre team leader, uh, asking her about the, the new unit. But in particular, my usual three questions. First of all, how many procedures have been done here since the new hospital opened? Secondly, which member of staff competed in the London Marathon? And thirdly, which consultant still brings his dog to work? So we're actually filming inside the new Barn Theatre complex at Wrightington. And what's unusual about this is we've got four operating theatres side by side in the same room. And I've just seen one of the benefits of that because one consultant is doing a particularly complicated case and another of the consultants has popped over to give her a second opinion and maybe some support whilst doing this complicated procedures. So quality and safety is one of the big gains that we've got here. So talking about the trust's quality and safety, uh, the usual monthly statistics. For HSMR, the latest figure we have is for January, which was a 93, taking the year to date to 91.5. On MRSA, we continue our very long track record of no cases at all. And on C. diff, March was another excellent month with no cases at all. So that means we can now say that for the whole of 2015-16, there were just 12 cases of C. diff, which is a reduction from 19 in the previous year. If we look at other infections, there were three cases of E. coli, and that's all there was in the whole of the month. So if we look at the total harms, there were just those three cases of E. coli, there was one serious fall, and zero of all the other types of major harms. So zero never events, zero uh, pressure ulcers, zero central line infections, and zero ventilator associated pneumonia. So just four in the month, very excellent result, and only 53 in the year, which compares to 79 the previous year. Moving on to performance, and it's been a month of good news, bad news. So I'll start with the bad news, which is yet again, the finances. As predicted, we have ended up the year with a deficit of 4.9 million pounds, and that was after achievement of a 10.3 million CIP, which sounds a great figure, but was unfortunately 2.4 million short of what we we're aiming for. We've also spent over 15 million pounds in capital this year, some of it on this building here, but we end up with a financial risk rating of one against our target of three. Now for the good news, and I hope you've all heard this already, but we also had confirmation that the Trust achieved the 95% A&E target on average for the whole of 2015-16. This is a wonderful achievement in very difficult circumstances and it's something that's happened nowhere else in Greater Manchester and probably nowhere else in the northwest of England either. And it's a great credit not just to the A&E department but to our whole system and our partners that work within that system too. So we really are celebrating the 95% in A&E. And a big reminder that we're coming up to our massive his launch date on the 28th of June, just eight weeks away. The second phase of user testing has been completed and the necessary changes have now been made to the system. Wi-Fi has been upgraded throughout the hospital and that's going to be available over the next few weeks. And what we should all be doing, myself included, is getting the training sorted. Everybody needs to do their his training before that go live date. And on the subject of the name, Despite the competition, it's not going to be Hizzy his face, and you'll find out soon what the answer is. So here I am with Charlotte Davis. Charlotte has worked for WWL for 16 years, the last 13 of those at Wrightington, and she's now the team leader for theatres here. So Charlotte, tell me, it's an obvious question, but what are the main things that happen in the theatres here? Um, the main things we do here in theatres at Wrightington are to offer our patients elective and trauma orthopaedic surgery. We work in one of the busiest hospitals doing this type of surgery in Great Britain and we are world renowned for what we do. We be the benefits to our patients are that they have increased mobility and reduced pain post-surgery. Okay, and now tell me about the, the new hospital. Okay, in December we opened a brand new state-of-the-art four theatre suite. Um, it, it has allowed us to change working practices within our department and give our patients a much more friendly patient experience. Fantastic. And you, you obviously still face problems and pressures. What, what are the main ones? Obviously, with moving into the new department, 
the initial pressures were settling the staff into a new environment. We were, soon after opening, we had some big floods in one of the other complexes, mm -hmm. which meant that at short notice we had to set up makeshift theatres to allow us to continue offering our patients a service and not impact on the experience they had. Great. And what are you most proud of? We're most proud of the investment um, we've had in the Risington site and of the outcomes that we've been able to provide because of this. And now for the three quiz questions. How many procedures have actually been carried out since we've opened the new hospital? We've carried out 1,444 procedures in our new theatres. And which member of your staff competed in the London Marathon this year? We're very proud that Amy Hayes, one of our theatre assistants, competed in the London Marathon this year and completed it within three hours and 59 minutes. Wow, gosh. And finally, I believe that one of our consultants here still brings his dog to work. Who would that be? That would be Mr. Perback. <laughs>